My name's Emma Morton Turner. I'm an interior stylist. I have been doing styling for over 20 years. I started my career working in house at magazines and then I went on to um, become freelance and build a website called Inside Stylist, which is all about promoting interiors. I became a stylist the way most people do by getting work experience. And I was working in the classified ads department selling boats. And I just kind of found this amazing creative industry. I didn't even know a stylist um, was a job. I didn't even know what that was. I then um, worked my way around the whole of IPC, working for loads of magazines, living, etc country homes and interiors, homes and gardens, and then I got my first job on a magazine. And then from there, it just, it just kind of carried on. When I first went freelance, I thought it was going to be really different from being in-house on a magazine to being a freelance stylist. And actually, it was exactly the same thing. But there was no one to ask, and I found that every time I needed to find an assistant for a shoot, because I'd been in a team where I'd been running a homes department and I had a deputy and I had an assistant. Um, but when you're freelance, you don't have that to hand. So I created a Facebook group, which has just grown and grown and become this incredible supportive community. Um, and I started it to find other assistants, but what happened was people were asking lots of questions. What do you do about um, insurance? Uh, some, a career has broken a prop. What do I do about that? So I thought there must be a, a much better way of collating all of, this, all of this information. So I built Inside Stylists, which is a website for promoting interior stylists, writers and assistants. And then I have a podcast, which is interviews with people within the industry. Lots of stylists sharing how they got in. And that's what's really interesting. When you listen to five different stylists, telling you how they became interior stylists. Um, so I, I can't actually believe, but I've been teaching interior styling for interiors for two years for UAL now. And it's really interesting the kind of people who come to the course. When I first started it, I thought it was going to be very much people who wanted to get into magazine styling. But actually, it's very much geared now for people who have um, properties that they want to sell and they want to make sure the photography looks good and when someone walks into the room it's styled beautifully. It's quite often people who are hotel owners and do Airbnb. There are people who want to change career which we've had a lot of recently. Obviously people really rethinking where their where their lives are going and they, they want to do something completely different. I had a violinist who wanted to be a stylist so complete change of career. So in the course um, over the four days I set kind of gradually increasingly difficult tasks. So the first, um, the first task will be creating a mood board and a concept board all around the season that you are um, aligned to. Um, then we go on to do flat lays because flat lays is a really good way to start styling. It's learning about composition, making sure the light is coming in from the right place. We then go on to do um, room sets and we do some flowers as well. And it's learning how to step back, how to look at the whole image, make sure labels aren't showing, make sure things have got really interesting depth, nothing's crossing over, nothing's all lining up, nothing's dead centre in the middle of the shot. So we just take it very slowly and, and we have fun. It's really good fun. Styling is fun. Making your home or products look beautiful is brilliant fun.